Hello guys, today in this video, I am going to show you how to add social media icons to your WordPress website. So, to add a social media icon to your WordPress website, so first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. So now I am here on my WordPress dashboard. So navigate down and come to plugins and click on add new. So here we are going to search for menu image. Click and install it. Then after installation, activate it. You can skip this. So after you have activated it, then hover over on appearance and click on customize. So now navigate down and click on menus. So now we are going to create a menu. So click on create new menu. So you need to give this menu a name. So we give it name as social media icons. Then scroll down and check footer menu. Now click on next. Then finally click on publish. So now click on add items. Click on custom links. Now copy your social media link. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create a three social media links and it's going to start from Instagram. So I'm going to paste the URL of my Instagram page here. So you go ahead and do so. Then we can write here Instagram. Okay. Then click on add to menu. Then click on add items again to add another menu item. So on this second one, I would love to add my LinkedIn link. Okay. So you add your LinkedIn link. Then under the link test, you add the name of the social media icon okay so this one is links in then you click on add to menu then add another menu icon by adding another of your social media icons so so i'm going to add pinterest so here i add my pinterest url then here i say is pinterest add it to menu so now click on publish then go back to your wordpress dashboard then now hover once again over appearance and click on menus. So now you can see the social media links we added here. Okay. So now on the first one, hover over on it, then you click on menu image. Then under image, click on set image. So I have already downloaded and uploaded these social media icons to my library. Okay. So I'm going to choose Instagram. Then click on select here down here. Then you see it's selected. Then click on save changes. So now you can close this one. Then go back to the LinkedIn. Hover over on it and click on menu image. Then under image again, click on set image. Then choose your LinkedIn icon. Then click on select. But if you don't know how to upload the photos you downloaded from internet to your WordPress library, then go and watch the video I did on how to do that. I will leave the link in the description below. Or you can see the link somewhere up here, okay? So moving ahead. After you must have selected the icon, then click on select. Then click on save changes. Now close this one. Go back and do the same on the third one. Hover over it and choose menu image. Then under image again, set image. Then choose your icon. Then click on select. Now click on save changes once again. Then you can close this one. So now click on save menu here. Yeah, make sure you click here, save menu, okay? So now that we have finished with this, so now it's time to add the social media icon to our web page. So to do that, I hover over to the pages and click on all pages. Then I want to edit it with Elementor. So I choose edit with Elementor. So now this is my web page where I want to add the social media icon to, okay? So I want to add it here under here. So it will be above this copyright. So what I'm going to do now is to hover over this copyright section and click on add section so that the social media section will be above the copyright section. So now I'm going to click on this plus add new section. Then I choose one box structure. So you can see it here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is to add that social media icon to this box. So to do that, we come up here on our Elementor menu icon. So we click. So now we are going to search for menus here. So write menus on this search widget. Then select WordPress menu, drag and drop it onto the box section we just created, okay? Drag and drop it there. So now you will see the menu displays there. So we are going to come down. So under layout, you can choose to position it vertical like this, or you can choose 
to make it a drop down. As if you click on it, it will drop down like this. But I want to leave it as horizontal. So here on alignments, I want to align it to center. So you can decide to add a dimension and others. But one thing you have to check is the mobile section of it. So how it will display on mobile devices. So if you are to check it on mobile, on how it will display on mobile devices. So you come under here, you click on responsive mode. Then you will see this top black line here. So you will see the modes here. So now let's go to mobile portraits. So if you go to mobile portrait now, you will see it will be a drop down here. So the social media icon will be a drop down on mobile devices. So you just click on here, you see the drop down. But I don't want it like this. I want it to display horizontal, as you can see, as it is here on desktop mode. So on mobile mode, for us to do it like that, let's go back to mobile mode. Then we come down here under mobile drop down. You see here breakpoints. You click here on breakpoints. You put it on no. Then you click on updates to update it. Okay. So now that is one thing we need to do again because as you can see here on the mobile mode, it did not line up horizontally accordingly because of these names here. This name shouldn't be here. So we are going to remove these names. So to do that, we are going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. So you go back to your WordPress dashboard. So here on the WordPress dashboard, we will navigate down to appearance and go to customize again. So once the customization section opens, then come down to menus, then click on social media icons menu. So now we are going to remove these names. So click on each one and remove the name. Okay, so that it will be with no label. So click on this one again and remove the name. So it's now no label. So click on this one again and remove the name. It's now no label. So publish it. So if you go back to your Elementor now, so refresh this page now so that this name will disappear. So now the Elementor has been refreshed. So scroll down to the footer section. So you will see the social media icons and the names has been cleaned out and it is now left with the icons. So to check how it looks on the mobile devices. So you come down on the responsive mode, you click. So you'll be brought to the responsive mode, then click on the mobile portrait. So you will see now that it has lined up horizontally as it's supposed to be, okay? And navigate to the desktop mode is the same thing. You navigate to the tablet mode is the same thing, as you can see. So as it is now, you can see there are gaps, there are space between them. So if you don't like the space, you can just click on this pencil icon to edit them. Then you see the properties displayed by the left here. So as it displays, here we are on the layout, as you can see, you can navigate to the style, so if you navigate to the style here on the divider, you can decide to switch this on. Then there will be something that will divide them as you can see, a line that divides them. You can choose a style, solid or whatever, dotted or double or whichever one, but I don't want divider, so I will switch it off. So you can come down on horizontal padding and reduce the spaces between them. So to reduce it, you can like zero. You see, it is zero now. So there is no much space between them. So you can also Come down and the under space between and the increase the space between them also here. Okay, so let's say you want it like this. Okay, so you can come to the hover here and click on the hover button. You can give it a text color or a pointer or whatever or size or whatever thing when somebody hovers on it. Or you can click on active and put and add some effect so that whenever somebody selects it, it becomes whatever you set on it, okay? So that is it for today's video on how to add a social media icon to your WordPress website using Elementor, okay? So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please, I would like you to comment down. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider to do so, so that you can help us grow this channel, okay? So with that being said, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next videos.